Egan. I have a doctor of nursing practice from Southeastern, a second master's from USF College of Medicine in Metabolic and Nutritional Medicine, completed a fellowship with the Metabolic Medical Institute, first master's was gerontology mental health from LSU Health Science Center, board certified adult and family nurse practitioner, and a certified diabetes educator. So I have been um, utilizing bioidentical hormones in my practice since 2005, and I did my research on the safety and benefits of bioidentical hormones in relation to quality of life. One of the things that we found in the literature review and during the three-year research that was done on 120 women is that the bioidentical forms are superior However, estradiol should be uh, the lowest possible dose in a transdermal form. So when estrogen is used transdermally, it bypasses the liver for the most part, and the liver doesn't convert it over to estrone. One of the misnomers with pellet therapy is that it's bioidentical, therefore it's safe. safe but if you give a woman too much estrogen, um, I don't care if it's bioidentical or synthetic chemical, it is dangerous. So the lowest possible dose of estradiol, transdermal is safer when you take estrogen by mouth. Most of it's metabolized by the liver, liver converts it to estrone, estrone increases thrombin formation, clot formation, breast cancer, and inflammatory markers in heart disease. And so, that, that would be referring to synthetic hormones? That would be too much of estrogen of any kind of hormone, whether it's bioidentical or synthetic chemical. Okay, so the how... The chemical is actually worse in that the chemical, Premarin, Prempro, they are actually made of estrone. That's They're, the synthetic brand. That's synthetic. It's a conjugated equine estrogen. For the most part, it's made up of estrone, which is the bad estrogen. On top of that, it's taken orally, and oral form is too hard on the liver. Liver converts it to more estrone, which in turn increases risk of breast cancer, blood clots, heart disease. Pellets, shots, uh, oral forms of estradiol are also dangerous. The oral form, too hard on the liver, pellets too high of a dose, injections too high of a dose. So again, you want the lowest amount of transdermal estradiol always balanced with natural micronized progesterone. We don't care if you have a uterus or not, the progesterone helps to balance the estradiol and keep it in check. Progesterone also builds bone density, it stops proliferative growth in the breast, and it's a natural antidepressant, anti-anxiety sleeping pill. Progesterone, all good. Progestin in Prempro that was made to mimic progesterone, all bad. Progesterone causes breast cancer, causes you to lose your bone density, makes many women psychotic, irritable, and moody. You mean progestin? Progestin, the synthetic chemical. Okay. Progesterone, the exact opposite. All right. So interestingly, we give young girls, 13 years old, depo provera shots. That's the same exact progestin that's in Prempro. It's MPA, medroxy progesterone acetate, causes you to lose your bone density, causes weight gain, causes breast cancer. So there are distinct differences between bioidentical forms of hormones and the chemicals. However, again, you have to look at the amount. Too much estrogen is never good. I don't care if it's synthetic or bioidentical. Okay. To read the research for yourself, please go to PamelaEgan.com.